In New York City, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new economy now. And the rest of the country, it's been over two years already. Uh, with our city, I'd say everything changed in September 15th. Now, I trained myself, trained myself to not think and say things like it's a bad economy, it's a slow economy, it's, uh, it's just a worse economy than what it was, worse market, bad market. I really train myself not to think and not to say that. I think it's just different. I say we cannot control the economy. We cannot control the weather and things like that. All we can control is our actions and how we react to it. Today, I think great buying opportunities. Okay? It's a great combination of reduced prices, negotiable prices, and just more selection of properties to choose from. Why not buy today? It's amazing to buy. In today's market, okay, look, we all know that there is fewer transactions today. Okay? We all know that the price point for transactions has gone way down. Okay? Um, we all know that there are still sellers out there who are just living in denial and still want to price their properties up here. And we also know that there are many buyers out there who are also living in denial and make their offers just around there. And you know that the, be the, the only thing a good broker will, needs to do really is to bring the sellers down, the buyers up, and make a deal right here. Okay? In order to really succeed in this market, I think you have to concentrate on the following two things. You want to concentrate on increasing your prospecting because you want to generate a lot, you know, a lot more leads, constant flow of leads, referrals from buyers, sellers, renters, investors, anything. Increase your prospecting. Okay. On the other hand, you also must in, must sharpen your qualifying skills. Okay. How do you qualify a prospect? Because not all prospects are create prospects are created equal. Um, so we always think, ah, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance that this buyer will buy. Maybe there's a chance that I can. Get this seller a million bucks when everybody else is getting only 700. Maybe there's a chance. You know something? Go to Las Vegas, put a quarter in the slot machine. There's also a chance for you there to make money, is there not? Yes? All right, there's always a chance. But you gotta, you gotta play the odds. So qualify them based on urgency. Qualify them based on their financial ability. For sellers, not only buyers, you know, today you gotta price aggressively, you guys. If you take a listing, price it under the competition. Tell them what they need to hear, not what they necessarily want to know. And it doesn't mean doesn't make you a mean person. Doesn't make you uh, uh, not a compassionate person. It just makes you an effective person because by telling them what exactly they need to know, okay. Uh, uh, you're really doing them the best service that you can. Just in closing, and I'll take any questions if there are any. Um, again, I think today's market is different, for sure, but there's still people making money out there. Okay? It's how you capture and how you reinvent yourself to take advantage of what's uh, out there. It's time to get efficient with our business and it's time to focus on the right thing. And the final thing that I would say, you know, this is, again, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And uh, it's a long process. And it's not get rich overnight. And when you look at the, at the most successful people, not just the top 25%, at the top 1% or even smaller than that, you see all the flashiness and all the bells and whistles. What you don't see is all the hard work and dedication over a long time that these people are put into this. Okay, so keep this in mind. Every day when you wake up, okay, and every day when you go to sleep, just make sure that by the time you go to sleep, you just learn at least one day.
what if you just learn at least one thing that day. So by the time you go to sleep, you're just that much smarter than by the time you woke up. Let's all stick together and uh, not just uh, survive, but thrive. And I wish you all the best of luck and thank you for being here.